hi guys happy full moon okay so what are you guys doing tonight for the full moon anything anything at all okay well this is gonna be my little ritual that I'm going to do and then I want to cover one other thing so for my rituals for the full moon they're very simple um, I don't even always I don't even always um, celebrate the full moon um, I feel like it's gonna be a super good one um, despite Mercury is in retrograde still it's driving me insane so um, what I do is I'm going to get my stuff gathered around so I'm probably gonna do a giant seven day tea light or glass vigil white light candle um, I might just ask for uh, the goddess to come down and to refresh and rejuvenate um, I might do the sun grill prayer that's another video that I have but first we get our circle our compass laid and this is actually from Michael Ford. I love this one. I do love this one. So what you do is you start in the north and you take your stang. So you start in the north with your stang. It's a fork at the top, the bottom. So you're going to take it and you're going to take it down. You're going to make sure your uh, the forks are pointing down. And you're going to start in the north. So and then you're going to go counterclockwise around and you're going to drag your stang on the ground and make that hissing noise. That's the serpent coiling and the energy coming up and you're inviting in from the underworld and the heavens above. So that is what that is for and that is how you do your your, your compass. Um, make sure you have your intent focused on who you are inviting in. Um, you don't really want to keep anything out. Traditional witchcraft. Um, so you can pick a a god or a goddess, um, any kind of energies that you want to invite in to help you with your working. Um, I usually just always invite my, uh, my ancestors, my grandma of course is always with me when I actually do a full moon ritual. I'd love to do it outside but rain, tons of rain. So this is um, when you're going counterclockwise for your compass. This is from Michael Ford. I know a lot of people do not like him. I don't care. I do. I love his works. And just, they ring true to me. Most of them. So. This is what you're going to say while you go around three times, basically, with your sting, making that hissing serpent noise. You're going to spay. You're going to spay. Yeah, you're going to spay yourself today. Spirits of fire, water, earth, and air. This charge is laid, let phantoms of my desire come hence, to which my will is law. Ecstasy will come, and my many elementals to my aid, so mote it be. Simple. Very simple. And I do like that he incorporates uh, the elements into that. Um, the elements are, you know, that kind of like your honoring opening statement of honoring the elements um since I don't call down uh, um I don't know what people call them corners quarters corners I have no clue um the directions so that actually this uh covers the directions it honors them it, and it invites them in too it also invites uh the elementals so that's another good thing so you're really basically with this uh, casting the circle with your shins, um, you are inviting a lot of energies in, and you're making your intent known, and you're stating it. So I think it's a very good uh, way to cast your compass, compass around. So again, spirits of fire, water, earth, and air, this charge is laid, but phantoms of my desire come hence, to which my will is law. Ecstasy will come, and my many elementals to my aid. So will it be. Okay, that was strange. But that is one of my favorites to actually do when going around my compass. So that's what I do. 
think it's thunder. <laughs> um, so next I will uh, kind of get into things. Huh? My drum. My drum. Um, might just meditate, sit there and meditate, and uh, let just the energy kind of raise and call down, uh, do the charge of the dark goddess, uh, charge her praise to Pan, um, Lilith, um, Ayana, Hecate. Um, tonight is a very good night for Hecate. Um, I know she loves, I have a giant jar full of uh, nasty herbs that are rotten and just disgusting, and I may take that down to the crossroads for her tonight. So, it's very, very cool. Very cool. So I love the casting of the Wittershins, Circle Wittershins. Um, I will blog that, actually, for you guys. And that is a very good compass. Very good. So, how do you guys do it? Do you guys do anything differently? Anything? Oh, I've asked that question before. I've already asked that question. So, um, yeah. I think tonight's uh, full moon uh, ritual will be focused on healing. Um, a lot of healing. Um, a lot of uh, harmony. Uh, just a lot of... Uh, a lot of good things to pull in, and it might even do some not magic, some cord magic. So we have all that to look into and delve into, and then I wanted to actually kind of talk about, I've seen quite a few people. Okay. People are asking about the succubus and the incubus. I don't know how to summon them. I do not know. <laughs> With enough um, sexual energy builds up, um, when you're when you're doing your business, <laughs> masturbation, um, when you're building that energy up, I don't know if a succubus or an incubus can be created from that. I'm not 100% sure, um, so I don't actually know how to summon one for that one person that wanted to know, I don't know, um, but with enough sexual energy raised and um, with enough of your fantasies, whatever's going on inside of your head, while you are, if you do your business in one specific area, it's going to create something of its own, it's going to take on a life of its own. And that's how I got my service for um, Alpha Drum. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to cover that with you guys um, because you know it is kind of taboo, um, and a lot of people don't really talk about it. But I mean, I think it's a, it's a great way to uh, really release energy, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, I think it's a great way to totally release energy, um, even in your, your compass. Um, work with Aphrodite, um, Pan, and I think it would be very beneficial to a lot of people. Um, I'm not saying go ahead and do that, <laughs> but it does work. So, um, sex magic, yes. Um, tonight would be a perfect night for that perfect night. Um, I've been feeling Aphrodite more, um, a different side of Aphrodite, um, more, uh, I don't want to say more sexual, but more, uh, when I envision her, I see great photographs of, like, old-time dancers and just really uh, nice, um, not completely nude artwork, uh, paintings, um, just that side. Um, I, I have a couple things I am working on right now. 
um, I did give it away on Instagram. So if you guys seen that, <laughs> um, so for me, that um, that comes into play with Aphrodite. She, for me, she has completely with the half the half nudity and the clothes and the board. That was my way of. That was the door that needed. That was the door that was closed, and I couldn't get down. That was the the hallway that I saw with that door, with the creativity that I wanted to just get out of myself. So that came out, and that's coming to fruition. Um, the board, um, the skin, and the clothes, all are very, very, very symbolic. The placement of the board, placement of the planchette the the look everything has one specific message and it's look beyond um, you know you're, you're, it, being naked would represent being exposed and uh, sometimes that makes people scared sometimes people are insecure over that um, that's not one of my insecurities so that's I think a way to, in my mind, I don't know if this is just my imagination because of Mercury Retrograde or just way too many Alice in Wonderland movies, but I think that's my way of her transmitting uh, a burst of information, and it was very quickly, it was very quick, um, to, I don't even know how to say it. This is how, um, you know, don't be scared, um, don't be ashamed, um, face your fears, um, lay your fears naked before your, yourself and examine yourself. Um, and it's kind of mixing the symbology of the body, the human body, and sexuality with um, the Ouija, which is, you know, both masculine and feminine. So in the picture you have masculine and you have feminine symbology um, within all aspects of the picture. Um, they are placed, everything is placed perfectly in a way that makes complete sense to me anyway. Um, <laughs> so that was just kind of my burst of inspiration that finally came into play. Um, I don't know. I don't know how far those photos will go. I don't know what they'll do. Um, I just kind of followed my gut and I followed what she was telling me. And it just came to be that way. So that's something I'm working on. Um, I don't know when it will be on my website. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I have, I think, two, two or three. And it's very hard to actually, you have to actually look within the picture and find um, strategically where everything is placed. It's like a puzzle. And if you can get see the message, then good. I hope you get the message and not just the picture. Not just the picture, but the message behind the picture the message behind Aphrodite um, and Venus and just bearing yourself, um, being, being you, being uh, just the best, the best that you can be. So if that makes any sense whatsoever. I hope it does. I really hope it does. So it should. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, if you guys have seen that on Instagram, um, hopefully you guys can see through the picture, see the symbology and everything within it, and to me that was a very powerful message, a very powerful message, especially about uh, body imagery, 
because a lot of people say, well, you know, you're, you're so skinny, you can wear anything. No. You can't. Just because you're skinny doesn't mean that you can wear anything. Um, you don't want to look like a clothes hanger. It's just, it's, so it's, it's, it's more for me too. It's a learning experience, uh, for me to accept, you know, I'm skinny. I'm, I'm skinny. I can't help it. Um, if you've ever seen me eat, um, if you know how a snake can devour a pig in one bite, there, that's how I eat, only twice as worse. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, it, it's still cliche, it's very cliche. Because of the hashtags. Because of the hashtags. Um, but I didn't really know what else to put for the hashtags. So, I mean, this is just, this, I'm stepping very carefully into some new territory. So hopefully, um, you know, it comes to fruitation. The difference, different kind of messages get out about the board. Um, also, it doesn't look as scary to some people, if they see it. And it was actually a recreation of, I think it was, I don't know who it was, I think it was John Lennon with his Ouija. One, one of those people way back when. And he was sitting there holding up his Ouija, like this. And I have posted this picture before, and I've had it in my videos. Um, I will show it. I don't know who it is. But I was just kind of thinking of going back and just, you know, all the, you know, the celebrities and people with their boards and, you know, if you, you can Google Ouija and you can find so many celebrities with their boards and just different poses that they've been in. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's very artsy, artistic. I think it's very creative. It's inspirational. Um, I see the message behind, not just Okay, there's, you know, a half-naked man, or a half-naked woman, uh, with a board. So, I, I get that. I totally get that. Um, that's just something that I think is incredibly amazing. <clears throat> and I did study that in school of photography. And I didn't realize that I still had that passion for it. Um, not so much taking the pictures, but... I can easily be in front of a camera, um, behind the camera, you know, like, editing all this crap, and I, I'm not that great with that. So, um, that's just, it sparked, that sparked passion, um, something inside, so, it's just art, artsy, very artful and tasteful images is what I see, so. Um, I would show you guys um, a very art, a tasteful art book, but it, um, yeah, I would probably get banned from YouTube forever, and I would miss you guys too much. But it's just the whole photography thing lately. And then last night I listened to um, oh, another interview with uh, Karen A. Dahlman about um, the spirit of alchemy and how to actually transform um, those inner demons into daemons. And I am still finding the demons inside of myself um, and outside of myself. So, I am finding the synchronicities again. Um, they, every day there are synchronicities, but the synchronicities from watching that video, listening to it. It was a podcast. It was amazing. <clears throat> it just kind of sparked, sparked my, my passion, my creativity for some pictures, um, art. And I just, I have so much in my mind, in my head, just goes and goes and goes. So I, I, I kind of want your guys' opinion. What, what do you think um, about the pictures? 
that I have uh, said, um, you know, with the <coughs> trying to, my throat is messed up today, trying to kind of take away the bad rap from the board and, I'll be honest, um, sex sells, it's very true, um, but then again you can also appreciate the human body, so, um, just a lot of Aphrodite in my head right now. Um, not, not slutty, because I know Aphrodite was uh, very pissed about what she had to do, and uh, I just think it would be, I don't know, I just, the body, the body image, it's just coming to mind how, you know, just all the different sizes of body image, um, and just how amazing everybody is, you know, in their own mm. skin. And, you know, who cares? Who cares? You know, what you look like. You know, I don't see you guys as... I see you guys, but I don't see, like, you know, I don't sit there and I don't pick out things. And I don't sit here and I don't judge you on what you're wearing or what you're saying. Um, I see through it. I see through all that. I don't think, you know, that's just a completely old belief that, you know, everybody should be the same. No. Nobody should be the same. That's what makes the world amazing. I mean, what makes America, America, is the differences. And that we can all get along and come together and just be happy. And that sounds very cliche, but it's true. And as much as I'm trying to convince myself of that right now, it's hard. So. I don't know, I'm just some, some thoughts in my head running around. Little ones. So that door has opened and it's just, it's just coming in, it's pouring in. Um, I keep getting these weird, very weird, um, almost like a chant. My lights keep flickering. Strange. Almost like a chant. Um, the first one was... I was meditating last night, well, my soul, or my heart, my stomach, it's not great for a soul. I was meditating last night. I kept hearing. And Jesus has been in my, uh, my meditations, like you guys know. Um, and I kept hearing, um, he betrayed him three times. Um, he betrayed him three times, he betrayed him three times, he betrayed him three times. Um, she wasn't a virgin, Mary wasn't a virgin, he ejaculated, um, the Immaculate Conception, it was a lie, he ejaculated, he ejaculated, he ejaculated, it was a lie, he betrayed him three times, he betrayed him three times, uh, Mary wasn't a virgin, he ejaculated, he ejaculated, and it just, I keep getting that kind of weird, weird, like, off the wall stuff, so I don't know what that means. I don't know at all, but I think it was interesting, I mean, it was very interesting. It was just like there's a whole different world opening up, and I want to share it with all of you, so I think I will put those pictures up on my website, um, but remember, um, I will have an age, 18 plus, so you do have to click, I will make it completely separate, you have to click yes to be 18 plus to get into that website for those pictures. It's nothing um, disgusting. It's nothing um, raunchy. It's nothing um, perverse. Uh, it's, it's tasteful, <coughs> I think. And I just feel like it's Aphrodite calling, guiding me. And I just think it's gonna do a lot more good for the, the Ouija than it will harm. So that's just another, just some more creativity and inspiration and ideas that I've got going on. Very artsy. So pictures, photography, um, just the old the black and the white. Um, Aphrodite, Venus, um, all of it. It's just going through my head it's like crazy. 
so um, just the story like the Babylon the horror of Babylon all these stories are just coming to my head and I'm just I have no idea why no clue but it's cool it's very cool it's very inspiring um, and it's sparking even more passion and I don't know how much more passion I can have <laughs> so um, hopefully um, this made sense um, it did me in my head so hopefully it did make sense um, and yeah everybody have a great um, great full moon enjoy your day and uh, stay tuned for for more and let me know let me know below comment down below um, what what you think of this entire entire process this creative process vision that I have going on and let me know what you guys think because I want your feedback on that on photography I am just there's too much too many boards um, that just stay on the walls um, yes they are gorgeous to look at but Janet perfect example she models she's the most beautiful person she's gorgeous um, the Ouija Queen look her up on uh, eBay her prints with the Ouija are phenomenal she has right there Janet you somehow inspired me in some way I want to share my pictures with you with you first that's what I want to do so I need to get a hold of you you have you you've inspired me quite a bit um Karen you've inspired me listening to your podcast last night again you made me go into myself and look out at a negative situation so I could look at it at 50 different aspects and take myself out and detach my emotions from it and think clearly about each individual you know way to transform that situation or transmute it into gold like you said the golden thread I have not forgot that I have never forgot that especially in the book your message the golden thread the silver thread was it the golden thread I think it was the golden thread so but yes I would love um, input from photographers um, art, art see people um, alternative modeling um, alternative photo shoots um, with oddities so just different different uh, little mixture of uh, LeVay, Anton LeVay little mixture of just the, the imagery and just a different way to um, honor yourself and your body and being comfortable in your own skin and I just I have so many ideas I just they won't come out I have so many going on that I want to share so I'm gonna start blogging a lot more and I think in those blogs I will kind of ease into the photography thing um, so you would think I would be able to take a better picture yeah. so I'm good at this being right here doing this put me in front of a camera I'm fine put me in front of a the photographer I'm fine uh, make me take a picture of myself no that's not me I can't work do this that's not my my passion. Well, it is my passion, but I mean, I can't do that. So, I just, I want your guys' opinions. So, and that's it. That was a lot. So I feel like I got a lot off my chest. That was my vlog. So, everybody have a great full moon. Um, try to get the negativity away from you from mercury retrograde because it's just my head is like spinning 
and I love you all very, very much. Um, no, you guys checking in on me too with the emails, it's fine. That is perfectly fine. That means so much. So don't ever apologize for too many comments or too many emails or checking in on me because nobody does that except for you guys <laughs> and I, I, I really appreciate it so alright guys um, I love you all very much and I will see you all later um, and yeah everybody I hope you have fun tonight if you do anything for the full moon let me know and I will see you all later and I love you very much <laughs>